Have you ever wondered why temptation often seems to intensify during the season of Lent? What is it about this solemn period that seems to draw out our deepest struggles? The season of Lent begins with Ash Wednesday, a day that reminds us of our mortality and the need for repentance. This 40-day journey, mirroring Christ's time of temptation in the wilderness, is a period of reflection, penitence and spiritual growth. Imagine, if you will, the scene. Christ, fresh from his baptism, led by the Spirit into the wilderness. He fasts for 40 days and 40 nights, and at the end, hunger sets in. It is at this point that the tempter comes, trying to exploit his physical weakness. The first temptation to turn stones into bread is a challenge to Christ's physical needs and his divine power. But Christ retorts with the words of Deuteronomy, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Here we learn the importance of spiritual nourishment over physical sustenance. The second temptation to jump from the pinnacle of the temple is a test of God's protection over his own. Yet again, Christ answers with scripture, you shall not put the Lord, your God, to the test. This teaches us not to test God's love or his promises, but to trust in them. The final temptation to worship Satan in exchange for all the kingdoms of the world is a challenge to Christ's mission and his loyalty to the Father. Christ's response is resolute, away from me, Satan, for it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. This instructs us to resist the allure of worldly power and to remain steadfast in our devotion to God. The season of Lent is a time when we too face our own wilderness of temptation. It's a time to confront our weaknesses, our desires and our distractions that lead us away from God. Yet, just like Christ, we are not left unarmed. We have the Word of God as our defense, our strength and our guide. And, in summary, the season of Lent, starting from Ash Wednesday through the 40 days of penance and reflection, is a journey through our personal wilderness. It's a time to face our temptations, just as Christ did, and to learn from his responses. We learn the importance of spiritual nourishment, the need for trust in God's promises without testing them, and the call to resist worldly distractions in favor of devotion to God. These stories and lessons from the Bible remind us that while temptation may increase during this solemn period, we are equipped with the tools to resist and overcome. So, as we walk this Lenten journey, may we do so with the confidence and strength that comes from God's Word, leading us closer to Him.